On camera, a tree crushing a school bus with students inside. You see it happening there. We just got our first look at the intense video of that crash that happened Wednesday afternoon. Six students from Southside High School were aboard the bus at the time. Now that was the second school bus crash in Greenville County in two days this week. The other happened on Fairview Road in Simpsonville. And our Aaron Rodgers joins us now from the 7 on Main studio with more on the scary moments from inside that bus, Aaron. Yeah, Diane, scary is the right word to use. Imagine seeing that coming straight toward you, and then that is the aftermath. But the Greenville County School District says in both crashes, the school bus driver did exactly what they were trained to do. Terrifying moments inside a Greenville County school bus yesterday. I heard the noise and it sounded like something exploded. This is what's left of the tree that fell on this school bus as it was driving down Old Grove Road. Okay. 1223. The rain had softened the uh, ground up and the uh, wind blew it over and it caught it. Perfect. Randall Culbertson is the neighbor who you hear the bus driver talking to. Okay. I'm not sure. He helped the bus driver get the students off the bus. She cared. She was doing what she was supposed to do. This bus driver wasn't the only one who had to put her training into action this week. A transfer truck has just ran off the road and hit me. Tammy Cummings was driving her special needs bus Tuesday when she saw this. That's part of our training if we see big vehicles coming towards us to slow down. As she checked, her kids stopped the bus and braced for impact. It was coming straight at us. <laughs> I did. I thought it was going to be very bad. And other than being shaken up, y'all got to sit down. Okay, go sit yeah, Let's keep them on the bus. Come on, hey, 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 we good, buddy. Come on, let's play a game. Come on. Everyone in both accidents are going to be okay. I am very thankful, because, and I really do believe the Lord was with us. Wow. Absolutely. Scary moments there. Now, when the bus hit, uh, the tree hit the bus on Old Grove Road, we did go out and talk to neighbors just asking if that had been a problem. The neighbors told us that they have complained to the county, to DOT, to remove those trees. I got in contact with the county council representative in that area. He reached immediately out to DOT, so he says, and he went out there himself oh, because yeah. uh, there are still two trees standing that are leaning pretty badly. So You can't help as a parent watching those videos but but tear up thinking of your own child possibly being on the bus I think you're gonna have a lot of parents going out and checking the trees <laughs> by them and also the other the special needs bus just remarkable how professional she was oh, yeah. I mean you heard the child cry and right away let's play a game I mean yeah. what, talk about the training in terms of just making sure that the kids feel safe after an accident what did you so they say that? they have a handbook but they said I mean instances like that I think kind of motherly, just a good yeah. person instinct kicks in that you want to calm that student down. So I think she took her training kind of to the next level yeah. outside of the book and really helped the kids yeah. calm in down. In both instances, the kids were in good hands. Absolutely. Thank you, Erin.